So another morning, another snake call. We've just been called by a friend of ours, Uday, to Palolem. Uh, apparently there is one snake there. We don't really know anything else, but they're already waiting for us on the road. So we're going to go down and see, and hopefully it's going to be something interesting, and hopefully it's going to be something that's not injured, because uh, the last couple of weeks we've been getting a lot of injured things. Let's see. Oh yeah, Nandini arrived just before the call. Which is great. Hello. Hello Nandini. Hey. Hello. Hello, puppy. Hello, beautiful puppy. He's very nice. How are you doing, bro? Very good. I've not seen you in ages. Yeah. I was at home lately. Yeah. You're living here. Uh huh. Hello, bro. How are you? Right. It's inside. What did you say cobra you think it is? So let's have a look. Hi, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm very good. You know which ah it's here, is it? Okay. Do you know which snake? Yeah, I'm looking. Photo Photo? Photo Okay, let's have a look. Oscar, he's saying. Okay, so that means it's likely then it's either going to be a Russell's Viper or a Python. Is it Python? I don't know. If he's saying Oscar, then normally it's meaning Russell's Viper or Python. Behind the plywood. Okay, so let's clear all of this stuff out. Can someone grab all of this stuff? Yeah? Do you want to take the torch? And then I'll clear it and you can really keep an eye on everything. Uh, take deck. And this one. Is it a big size or a small size? Medium size. Medium size. Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah? yeah? It's a boa. Here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, super cool. Yeah. So then you can. Yeah, I'm, I've, the camera is there, so you can get it. This one in Konkani is called Malun. Yeah, it's a Whitaker's boa. Yeah. So it's not dangerous at all. Not dangerous. Very calm, very quiet, very gentle. Can you get it? Very good. Come out, fatty. So these are very cool. They're really calm, gentle animals. They call them two-headed snake. Yes, that's my good snake out there. It's a big one. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. So they're super nice. It sometimes, but very rarely. But there's no venom. So even if it bites you, it's it's no problem, you know. It's very they're very calm, very friendly, very nice snakes, and super respectful, you know. Like if if they see you, they try and disappear. Not poisonous, not dangerous in any way, and they're eating rats. So it's amazing because they live around the house very quietly, not dangerous, and they're eating rats. So if there's no rats here, then for example, the cobra is not coming, the Russell's viper is not coming because there's no food for them. 
So these guys are amazing to have in this area, actually. They keep the whole place safe, you know? Yeah. So what I would say with this snake, if it's possible, is that we leave it just here, because this is a forest area here, no? No, this is not forest. <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit jungly, no? No, no, no. Behind, behind there's a jungle. Because it's good for the snake to live around the houses, because it's taking and away the rats, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, if it's possible, we'll leave it here. No, you don't leave here. Why? <laughs> but you, you know, you've said, uh, like, it's not, not dangerous, it's a good snake. It's not that. I'm hmm. not saying here. These children are the... They will but, be no, the children are less scared than the adults. I've no, been doing this five it. years. The kids are not scared at all. No, they are being behind, scared by the adults. Behind. The main thing is, right, just, just to understand, like the... <laughs> listen, listen. Behind, behind. behind, yeah. It's just good to keep it in this area. Be yes, because it's actually keeping the kids safe, you know? Like it's stopping there being too many rats, which means less chance of the venomous snakes. No, no, we'll leave it here. This is the thing that's really important. We have to convince people to keep these snakes inside these areas because they're not dangerous. They're super cool. Everyone here knows that they're not dangerous. So more important than anything, actually not just for the snake, but for the safety of the community, is that we are keeping these snakes in these areas. It really doesn't help anything if we're moving these snakes to somewhere else. The snake isn't happy because it's just suddenly been dumped into a place that's not its home. And the people have more rats in their homes. The more rats you have in and around your homes, the more snakes you're going to have in and around your homes. So snakes like this really, really need to be kept in the community. Here is the house behind me. And if we go around, here you can see the habitat behind. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. You have rock walls, you have some nice big trees, you have decent amounts of, of plants, you know, and cover. So this is the best place to leave it. So we've, we've strongly convinced everyone. And now Nandini will go, just put it somewhere where it can kind of go in and not get pulled out again. Nandini will now release it here somewhere. Other side of the compound now. Yeah, just on the other side of that wall. Nandini, jump over the, the, that wall, that old wall. So we can go this side, hello. It's okay, this way is... No, is that way is better. It's this good, side? we're here now. This side is better, okay. there is a way there. Road it's okay, there. there's a small way here only, yeah. it's fine. Actually, I should also come so that I can film the... Right. the snake being released, yeah. Okay, see you. So now it'll get itself nicely into those rocks, cra rock cracks and out of the way and probably they're not going to see it again for a long, time. a long time but if they do then hopefully now everyone knows oh it's just a malon it's super cool we can leave them there go on mister get yourself in 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 you can't stay laying outside go on go on There we go. Ooh. Good job. Don't be scared, mister. Just get yourself safe. <laughs> 